Hey guys, Chef Adesh here. I'm back with another video. And today I'm gonna to be making cheese sandwiches along with a strawberry banana smoothie. And as a side note, I'm not a professional chef. So these cheese sandwiches, I'm cooking them my way. But if you guys have any recommendations, please leave it in the comments down below. But let's get started. So we're gonna go over to the ingredients. All right guys, so I got all my ingredients here. I got two cup of cheese, one in there, and one in the blender. I have the five cloves of garlic with the pepper, but the um, pepper is optional. If you want, you can put it in there. Um, I have the half a cup of green onion, half a cup of um, parsley, half a cup of cilantro. Um, I got two tablespoons of mustard, and you're also gonna need to put two tablespoons of butter, and one, one fourth of milk so we have to put all them oh and we also have the bread too the wonder white bread you can use any bread a whole wheat but i don't like whole wheat so i just picked that bread so we're gonna put all of these things together so we can make the sandwich all right guys so let's put the uh, ingredients in here goes the cheese that's gonna come out okay uh, i got our five cloves of garlic with the optional pepper Put that in there. We have the parsley. Oh. We have the cilantro. We have the green onions. We have the two tablespoons of mustard. Yeah. And I gotta take two, another two tablespoons of butter. Just gotta scoop that out. About that. Maybe another spoon for that. Let's get this knife here. Okay. I have to get one more. Then we have the one fourth of milk. Now we're gonna blend it up. Let me put the food back on. Alright guys, so blend it up for about two minutes. This up looks pretty good in it. it. Smells like mustard too. So we're gonna take off the lid and we're gonna take the spread and we're gonna pour it into this cup here. If it's not stuck to the bottom. Yeah, I might need a big spoon to take that out. All right, guys, so I got a spoon here, and we're just gonna dip all of it out into the bowl. And that's a, it's a lot, so it might take a while, but. All right, guys, we got the spread here. Looks pretty good, smells pretty good. And we've got the bread here. So we're just gonna take out our uh, two pieces of bread. We just gotta grab our two pieces. Okay. And we're just gonna spread it up. Oh, I'll take an extra piece, that's a take. Or maybe, yeah, that piece looks bigger. We're just gonna take the spread and just uh, spread it. I like to have a lot. Cause then you get the full taste of it. And then just spread it on both sides. And then spread it on this side. And then after we'll put it together. Okay, now I'm just gonna 
like you do with every other sandwich, just put them together. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a long knife here and we're just gonna cut off the crusts. So, So now we're gonna put it on this plate and we're gonna take it over to that stove over there and we're gonna make it like brown. So let's go. So basically I made more sandwiches cause I'm not gonna be full on one. I have to have like two more. So we brought it over here. We have our skillet and we, it's on the um, stove. And what you need is you need your uh, pan flipper and some oil. And we're just gonna put the bread onto the skillet. So you gotta turn on the stove first. Now we're gonna turn it to like about four. And then we're gonna wait for it to get hot. And then, Then we're gonna put the uh, oil on it. All right guys, so we poured the oil in the pan. And now we just gotta wait for it to heat up so we can cook these sandwiches. And it's not hot yet. Might have to wait a little bit more, but we poured the oil in, so we just gotta wait. All right guys, so the pan is heated up. So we're just gonna put the bread in like this. And if you can quietly hear, it's sizzling. That's how you know that it's cooking. And I usually wait about one to two minutes to cook it. If you want to wait longer to make it more brown, then you can do it, but I'm showing you how I would do it. So we're just gonna wait one to two minutes and then we'll flip it. So it'll get brown. And as you can hear, it's sizzling, so that's good. All right guys, so I'm flipping now. And that's basically what it's supposed to look like. And I guess you just wait another one to two minutes on this side and your bread should be done. All right guys, so I did all three and this is what the results look like. The, as long as they look brown as you want, then they are good to go and you can eat them. All right guys, so the sandwiches are done. So now we're gonna go on to making the uh, strawberry banana smoothie. So let's go back to the other side of the kitchen. All right guys, so I've got the ingredients. First we have the two cups of milk. First cup is in the blender. Next cup is here. Uh, three frozen strawberries, two tablespoons of yogurt, and one banana. So we're gonna pour all of them in. In, like we did with the sandwiches, so let's pour the milk first. There we go with the strawberries. And we're gonna have to uh, peel the banana. I'm gonna break them in half so they'll fit easier. And two tablespoons of yogurt. Okay, now we're just gonna uh, put the lid on it. And we're gonna put on. So guys, this is what it looks like. You can see it, let me take off the lid so you guys can have a better view of it. That's what it looks like. And we have our uh, glass over here with the straw. So 
So this is what happens if you don't unplug your blender. Uh, it'll go everywhere. So make sure just to unplug your blender, okay? So we're gonna unplug it. So then, all right guys, so this is obviously a learning process. So uh, I just cleaned up the mess. Now we're gonna pour in the smoothie with the straw there. So now let's carry it over to the sandwiches to get a taste test out of it. So we have our smoothie and we have our sandwiches. So I think I'm gonna try the sandwich first. As you can see, it's brown and crispy. And let's try it. It's pretty good. It's actually really good. If you like mustard, this is really good. And it's good for a little snack. I'm gonna have a smoothie here. I'm gonna do two first. So we're gonna take a sip. That's amazing. You don't need Dairy Queen if you make stuff like that. That's really good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll be making sandwiches and a smoothie. Make sure to share this video, like it, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in our next video. The Dish out.